So today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I am gonna go tell you what's behind my shelf that you see in all my videos. You see just a bunch of cars there, right? Every car has a story. So what I'm gonna do is gonna tell a really short story and then maybe some try to summarize the car in one line. And if you want to see all the videos or a review that I did on that vehicle, I, I'm gonna link it during the edit. So hope you have fun with it, all right? Thank you. So there you go, flip the camera around. So first is the, I'll show you the, the graveyard of transmitters. We have a ton, you know, all these RTRs have a transmitter that's not very good. So I use them and then they just sit there. Super confusing. I'm gonna convert them to one of these good radios and but I need a ton of receivers. So the first vehicle I'm gonna talk about is the Land Rover TRX-4 Defender by, by Traxxas. And it's been through a couple bodies. And this is the long wheelbase 12.8, but this is my latest body. It ha has an interior, which is super cool. Uh, and the wheel wells, as you know, are part of the body. And I have a Traxxas Servo, a Holmes Hobby, Crawlmaster Sport and these Proline tires. In a nutshell, I, I you know I have a couple mods on the body, but in a nutshell, this vehicle is the true trail crawler. It can scale some walls as well, but if you're just gonna be hiking five miles and admiring your vehicle that can crawl, that can travel with you, that's the one. Next vehicle here is the actual UMG 10 6x6, six six, $450 for, for this one. It's got a really cool body, six wheels, obviously, you know. Here it is. It's not the most sturdy frame of all, and it's just a really a basic 6x6. Six six. It's a stretched out SEX 10 2. So it's not. You don't expect the world, but you get an idea of what a third axle can do. And it really allows it to climb and descend very well. So if you want to get into six wheels at a budget, 450 bucks for that, that's not a bad option. Next one is something off of left field. It's the GMA GS02. I believe this is a kit that we put together ourselves. Something from Korea, different manufacturer. You know, something just dancing to a different beat and it surprised us it runs pretty good we just put some Traxxas tires on it and had at it uh, Holmes Hobby Polar Pro Stubby so it's the the, the shock was super light so we just need to do that run it a few more times and see what this thing can do uh, body posts are at the bottom so super interesting, a lot like the new Axel that came out. Next one is an interesting vehicle we took to Axel Fest, I believe, last year. It's the Wraith. And the, the hood pops out. Not easily. <laughs> Got a little engine, battery bay. Very hard to work on. Um, and it doesn't perform well, <laughs> but we we'll uh, you know this one was the most difficult uh, with ours because it you know we can improve this vehicle, but you always got to have a starting point, right? And the starting point is just not that awesome. Um, but we're willing to try, give it another shot. What else? Uh, oh, we put an aluminum body on it, which is super cool. So up up here in the graveyard for bodies, you see the. The original body is uh, just a very thin Lexan one. And I said, hey, we could do that with an al with aluminum. So we sure did. And it um, turned out okay. True to scale, huh? True to form. Next one is the Element RC Enduro Sendero. A vehicle that is quite beloved to us because it kind of 
kind of shook up the game for crawlers. New company, Team Associated, that got involved with crawlers and they put up a, uh, a new brand called Element RC. And here it is. Performs quite well, but you know, it's not, it's not without flaws. You need to stiffen the body. You need the stiff plastic stuff. Um, we tried to lower the, the battery by putting a, a different tray and it's a great project car. The body is super thin, so it's better off um, using another body. And we used the bumpers. The bumpers were awful, so it is a Vanquish bumper. So it really is in a pretty good state right now. And the next one we have is just a, so it should be a cheap vehicle. It's the uh, the Banggood um, Special RGT CJ Jeep. They don't call it a Jeep, of course, because they have to pay money for that. Um, and the body's cool. And, and the, the inside is just pretty basic, but it's got a 550 motor. And we, we upgraded the heck out of it, you know. Something cool is the, the, the bumpers have lights and they can be activated by the, the transmitter. So unique to all these, you know, you, you usually need the light controller to do that. And this comes with a cheap vehicle, $270 vehicle. Uh, we needed a driver, so we got, you guys know who that is? That's uh, Gilligan. <laughs> Needs a passenger, either coach, skipper, or Ginger or Marianne. Who's your vote? So there you go. Oh, look at the look at the the the, the front fascia was so bad that we we had to work on it. <laughs> Drilled it out. Next one is an interesting project. It's the Axial Capra. Oh, what is this movement here? That's not good. So Capra is interesting. It's their ah, portal axle. Look at that clearance, but it's so wide that you know you 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 end up dragging the belly anyway. So, but it can be worked on. Uh, we put a hobby wing inside. Uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna give this another shot. It does. It definitely needs uh, some brass to get the front end down, give it its potential. And then moving on down, we'll try to finish this quickly. It is our TRX4 that's fully modded, no bumpers. It's got a Traxxas. Servo, the brushless one, Bauhaus RC, battery tray, hobby wing, ESC, and oh, look at that SSD, portal axle covers, and overdrive, underdrive. This thing is a beast. We haven't run it in a while. And this one's interesting because oh, this one <laughs> this one failed the axle fest test. It says uh, bad muffler bearing. <laughs> So this is just a plain old actual SEX-10 II, a, uh, a very good vehicle. And something that makes it interesting is it is box stock and we use it to compare. So we compared it to the three, etc., etc. It's a good baseline vehicle. This one is uh, one of the prettiest vehicles we have is the actual Unimog uh, four-wheel drive, not six. It's actually, this is a better implementation of the Unimog, but the, the wheelbase is so short. It's like 10.5 or something. Um, or it may, maybe, maybe a little more. Uh, I got a nice servo, but it is such a pretty little beast. And then this is our Red Cat Gen 8. Very pretty. Magnet mounted. Oh, there's our other battery. So we use a lot of these eco power batteries. We fixed we fixed all the issues with it. Um, where's our? There we go. So put up put a little skid plate. Got rid of the belly bump. Next one is just an amazing vehicle. It's the Traxxas TRX six, and this one. Currently has our option body on it. Uh, there you go. This one has seen the most beating of all our cars. It's got a Hobby Wing 550 Axe, super torquey motor, pro model or servo. We jump this vehicle, bring it underwater, we crawl up hills. 
It's the most amazing vehicle ever. It's got stock tires too. No modifications. We're gonna do all our mods here and make it and drop drop the body, make it a belly dragger. Maybe. What do you guys think? And here is our one of our newest projects, the Ax the Axial SEX103. Uh, just a beautiful little car. Uh, we took out some stuff. We did 10 modifications to this vehicle and it started performing. Because out of the box, it's not crazy good. I know the actual SCX-103 RTR just got released, but it's it's cool, under 500 bucks by a penny. But it's, man, it's got some problems. Um, and we'll go through that. And this is one of our favorite vehicles. It's the Vanquish VS410 Pro. That's important. Not the Origin, the Origin's no good. The Pro fixed everything. And, and here is our belly dragger, not belly dragger, a low CG format. And then before we close, we have another couple of vehicles. This one is a, I don't know what this, I don't know what this is. It, this is a, um, should find out, Panda Tetra X1. So it's cool, it's because it's, it's that small vehicle, but it's not too small. Um, and it's got some really good potential, but it's not quite there. And this is the king of the little cars. It's, it's the SCX, SCX, what do you call this? SCX24. Such a simple car, but such a dominator. 110 bucks, I think. You got a couple mods in it, a couple brass things. So, very intriguing vehicle. So, So there you go. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I uh, hope this camera works. <laughs> um, it's just uh, fascinating to be able to buy these cars and, 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 and play with them and kind of share my experience with you guys. It's so many people I said they, they started the hobby, restarted the hobby because of seeing my videos. And, and, and that that's always been happening, right? But what's happening new now is people say, hey, I've been in the hobby, now I went into six wheel. I'm getting into new categories of crawling uh, because of what you guys did. So uh, we have some fast cars too, we have lifted Bronco, we have some other stuff. So we're gonna go uh, some more exciting stuff. So hang, hang in there with us. And if you ever need to buy anything, click on our links. They all go to A-Main, sometimes Amazon. And uh, whatever you purchase for 30 days after clicking a link, will help out our channel. All right. Thank you. And uh, really appreciate the support.